You are now tuned in to My Skin Is My Sin on Blog Talk Radio. From goons to guys, we welcome everyone. We only have one rule. Uh, one rule. And that's be respectful. Let's be respectful. Let's be respectful. You are not tuned in to my skin is my fan on Blog Talk Radio. Go on to guys and welcome everyone. You know, you have one rule, and that's be respectful. Holla us next week, man. No doubt, no doubt, man. And, and, and definitely shout out to the family, liberationmindedmedia.net. That is Black Eyed Stand. Do the knowledge radio, the rundown with Renee, and my skin is my sin. Oh, 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 and don't forget to share the show, man. If you check it out today, or if you check it out next week, or if you check it out in a thousand years, and if you are that motherfucker that digs us up in a thousand years, you are the most phenomenal individual to ever walk the galaxy for digging up this greatness and still share our shit, man. Shout out to you. Don't forget to check out the website, mbroshell.com. Designs by Monet.com and my skin is my sin.net. Black shades cover the face of a great First on the scene, arrive, fashion be late The killers wanna take to make my safe safe I proceed to push weight, cop large estates I dictate the pace, got lions laying in wait Combat the hate, with yellow tape, you sealed your fate Maserati's in race, create exquisite escapes Elaborate schemes, get the cream, I'm out my papes A young hustler, pop suckers who's undercover Police lovers, one is gone for mad summers I take keys, slow the speed and do numbers A young wise king, my crew ain't up and comers Vicious drug smugglers and Nintendo clips, cowards play gangsters, we live this shit, real live men who five off sin, crack is the wind, shine hard on these frauds, man, I'm not like them, we make moves, connect dots, collect cheddar, we shake dudes and make drops and black gutters, my team supreme tough like dark leather, my team supreme tough like dark leather, we roll deep but don't sleep, we move clever, we tow heat but don't speak, we know better, my team supreme tough like dark leather, my team supreme tough like dark leather, untouchable thug, hop on a gun smoke, a money trench coat, let you know I move dope. A sniper with the toast, the wrong one to provoke. Rebels react reckless anytime I say so. I let them know what's the difference between me and you. I get it from the mud, y'all tell lies to sound true. Niggas going broke, can't run with my crew. Money long like Yana's arms, make it his face blue. Now the fuck, given that's how I play ya. Living my heart pump, venom, I leave your brain spinning. I bought the cleanest linen, make the hardest turn timid. I'm all about my business, see murder, there's no limit. My life's authentic, drop digits and diamond districts. Young fly. Nigga, grab bricks that I can build with. I'm on some money shit. Dress and design a print. Females is loving it. I'm a handsome pimp. I can't deny his levels to being fly. The wrong one to rise, the one no yeah, problem with us guys. Got mafia ties. Who see mobsters don't prosper? You must follow a different mantra. I got you. We make moves, connect dots, collect cheddar. We shake dudes and make drops and black letters. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. We roll deep, but don't sleep. We move clever. We tow heat, but don't speak. We know better. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. A West Side nigga rock first from my style. GQ frigga bring swag to my style. Getting papered up, I let the money pile. Young kid with the bright smile, switch white like the now. Cause and effect, I'm scared with two texts. My bitch is well kept, a hustler with intellect. Diamonds on my neck, I'm ignorant when I flex. Champagne on deck when I step on their jets. I must confess, I chin check for my respect. Y'all play games, got mad aim and no regrets. I let a lie slide, play boy, your time's up You don't wanna see the mother of your kids tied up Collect the ransom, dip off in the phantom Leave bodies and pens landing fast, they can't stand them If they try to gauge, I'll make the front page A crew of renegades that leave the block sprayed Give cement lays the ghosts of Dutch Schultz You know I stash your money in the votes I got that, hustler in me, I turn nothing to plenty Niggas can't do nothing with me We make moves, connect Mr. 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 My motherfucking Astro, sister. Astro, Astro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Saucy, I'm splashing on him. Eddie B, that's my yeah. fucking brother. Fat nigga with a lot of money. You can't touch this MC Hammer. Tools on me like Bob the Builder. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Keep the ball with 10K. Ballin' on him on another level. Come cool. Super Sam when I come through. Kickin' shit like Johnny Cage. Yo, bitch ugly. Yeah. Play play. Yeah. Mommy's bad like Princess Leia. They ain't buzzin' like a bubble bee. Niggas mad, they don't fuck with me. Sweet baby raised on my fucking feet. Jump yeah. in the pussy like Blue's Clues. When 
the mouth like who's who. Where the world is Waldo. Hit your bitch like a domino. Damn. Big black like King Kong. Plays hoe like a ringtone. Use a mop on bubble phone. Kick her out like DW. I'm about to build like Claire Huxley. Hit your man like a world rumble. Yeah. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Damn. It don't matter. Scotty Pippin, 33 yeah. bitches, swag drippin', shoes and tire, shirt oh, ejection, yeah. my money mention, hey. did I mention hey. I'm on a mission, hey. moonwalkin' yeah. in the rain, Michael yeah. Bibbins, yeah. Big Pippin, yeah. Scotty Pippin, 33 bitches, swag drippin', shoes and tire, shirt oh, ejection, yeah. my money mention, yeah. did I mention I'm on a mission, yeah. moonwalkin' in the rain, Michael Bibbins. Big sexy, hoes love me, got yeah. a big, they wanna rub me, money hey. long, they Wanna fuck me? I'm a pimple even if she ugly. Diamonds yellow like Bart Simpson. Chain ice, I'm bartending. Real nigga, you pretending. Frosting on him like a fucking dick. Growing up like an elevator. She gon' ride it like an escalator. Black activist, super activator. Black coupe, name a dog Vader. Watch lemonade, shoe, not later. Bossing up like Essie Slater. Big soft speaker, fuck her knees. Take a bands up, I fell asleep. Bitch, some soft switching to the hoes. Teach the hoes how to make the dough. After that, kick it out the dough. Big soft soft is on the road. Drippin' pippin' all the nigga know Yes, I'm shoutin' this a diamond show Show respect to my dumbest bro Oh yeah, big sexy I don't couple cause these hoes is messy Drippin' pippin', yeah, my sauce is drippin' Don't act this shit, mind your fuckin' business I'm on a message, tryna make the chicken Rippin' biscuit, tryna get the cheddar Chain ice like a gold medal Shot a shot, get my fuckin' bezel, yeah Big pippin', Scotty pippin', 33 bitches Swag drippin', shoes and tire, shirt ejection I'm money mention, did I mention I'm on a mission Moonwalking in the rain, Michael Bibbins Splash walk in through the mall, switch splash on the drip drip 90s baby, I ain't done yet, pull What's good fam? This is Jobs, and you are tuned in to My Skin Is My Sin On Blog Talk Radio from goons to guys, we welcome everyone. We only have one rule, and that's be respectful. How you doing? How's life? What's good, Ron? What's good, what's good brother? How you uh, doing, man? Chilling, chilling, bro. Chilling. Joe Cool, where you at, bro? You in here? What's up, Markel? You know? Hey, y'all hear me good? We clear? We official? Let's go. Y'all hear Ron? Let us know. Uh, and if y'all don't know, uh, for the first 15 minutes, we really don't, well, hell, just the water cooler, we really don't talk about much of shit anyway, y'all can kind of run the show, you know, let us know what y'all want to talk about, oh, but I do have one thing, man, have you been checking out, uh, OJ on Twitter, am I the only one that been, that been kind of checking out his Twitter feed? Uh, I, I don't even, I wouldn't follow anything OJ talking about, bro. Yo, Chuck D retweeted OJ, bro. Hey, he's trying to redeem himself, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, I'm, just, I'm not even on Twitter, yo. I ain't gonna host. Like, I'm not even on. I'll be on. I'll be on Twitter. And Chuck D retweeted OJ Simpson, bro. And 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 to make it even worse, bro, or better, however you want to look at it, is that he was right, spot on with what he was talking about. Yeah, I mean, who who knows white people like OJ? But he wasn't talking about white people. He was talking about um, the NCAA changing that rule that now oh, to be an agent, man. you have to have a degree, the Rich Paul rule. Right. And his comments were spot on about this shit. Like, like you could see, you know, yeah, has dude done some fucked up shit? Do I think he, I don't think he did it with Nicole Simpson. I think he know who did and had something to do with it. <laughs> That's just my two cents on, on, on the situation. OJ ain't do that shit. I mean, like I say, I don't think that he personally did it. I think, you know, I always thought AC did it, bro. I'm not even going to front. And I don't, I don't know what just happened to your feed, bro. I think I just froze this shit somehow. Or you did that. I'm not sure. We'll see in a minute, though. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, you good now? Nah. All right. Um, but yeah, he was right though, bro. Like the whole, the whole, that whole NCAA shit is some bullshit, and and they know it. 
And 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 who was that that you were saying that um you want to try to get on the show? I can't remember dude's name. Rome, you there? Oh shit! Yeah, here we go. Here here we go. Jobs on this BS again. Uh, for some reason, I can see Rome, but I can't hear Rome. You know, I don't know. Maybe I can hear him now. I get it together in a second, though. But anyway, I got to go into this. Uh, Y'all know I can't multitask. But yeah, uh, like dude was just like like what the NCAA doing is, and it's pretty obvious that uh is is literally a rich Paul rule. Whether they're going to admit it or not is a whole different ball game, and you know they're not. Um, but I forget the brother's name. He is a, a sport. You, you would know him if I said his name, and I know Rome know it. But right now, I, I, I somehow I didn't uh, ruin Rome's audio. Chris Broussard. Chris Broussard. Okay, so maybe that wasn't me ruining uh, Rome's radio. It's Chris Broussard. And what he was saying was, is that black players should start, uh, yeah, it, you know, we've been doing that too, Markel, um, but but that black players should start going to HBCUs, which is which which is actually a a really 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 dope idea. To you ask me, um, now the 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 converse side of that is, will we support that if they do? You know. If you're in that area, are you going to go to the home games and make sure that it's packed? Because that's the only way that it will work. If they decide to do that, you know, we're going to have to support them to the fullest. Rome just well, left. <laughs> I'm right here. Uh, I, I think I think it's a I think it's a good decision. I mean, you think about the money that goes into these universities that they make off of these players, bro. Is hundreds of millions of dollars facts well out the athlete the school won't survive you know what i'm saying so like yeah i agree i definitely i definitely agree with that like at the end of the day like those those powerhouse universities only survive due to the pro athlete exactly that that make it from there you know what i'm saying like how much money is alabama gonna pull in without no black players all right you know, and the sad part is now we got Howard whooping Alabama's. That's not the sad part. I won't say sad. Um, but the dope part about it is that now you got Howard whooping Alabama's ass every year. Right. Like, that's dope. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yeah, right. I, I'm with that. You know, like, I don't see as long as we, but we have to support them, man. Don't, like, we, we, we talk a lot of shit, man. I'm not even going to front. Like, just as... You know, let's 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 be honest. Like we, you know, we we get over shit quickly. Well, you know, for these young men to do that, they they putting their their necks on the line for us if they were to do that. So let's make sure, you know. And I don't know why we can't see you work for shit, Rome. It's like you you like in the Batmobile or some shit. And I, I no matter where I where I move it, it eh. I am in the Batmobile, my nigga. No, I'm not mad at that, dear. Go save, you know, go save the nation. Um, you know, I'm not the one for saving. I don't save them, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm on some, uh, yo, it's my weekend with my with baby girl, for real, you know what I mean? Like, I'm on some laid back, mm. my dad, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm just laid back, for real. I feel you on that one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and my daughter want to go get some uh, frozen yogurt and shit. You know what I mean? Like that's some dope ass shit, shit, man. Yeah. Like yeah, it, man. it is nothing like a father and his daughter, bro. Like it just, it's just nothing like it, man. That's a fact. And I remember, man, when you know when I was first about to have a kid, you know, I wanted a son. You know, I guess every man, you know, that's just. But like, man, when when I, and then I got three girls, and oh my god, bro, just so fucking phenomenal. Like, I would not trade the experience for the world of having Yo, daughters. A girl, and I never forget this shit. This girl in tenth grade, like, cursed. You know what I'm saying? And um, 
like we was kind of homies, but I liked her too. So I would never like go all the way to like try to be with her and shit for real. Actually, I was with her. Yeah, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I used to go with her and shit for a little bit. But she was like, yo, you, you going to have all girls just for the way that you treat women. Mm. Real shit. Or everything, bro. I'd never forget that shit because my first kid, I was praying for a boy. I had a girl. So then when I had my second kid, I was like, yo, I know. I know it was going to be a boy because we went and found out the sex on my birthday. I was like, yo, this is just, just God's will. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to find out about my son on my birthday. Woo, woo. Get there, girl. And I was like, yo, I'm two for two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did have a son, but he was still born. Mm, I'm nope. sorry to hear that, bro. And he was still born. So, and it was actually twins. It was mm. twins when they make it, you know what I'm saying? And then my son was, like I said, still born or whatnot. So, yeah, so my, my third one was a boy. Okay. No, my second was a boy. But you like to hear make it, and then my third was a girl. Mm. Yeah, man, that's a tough one too, bro. That's that's that's. Yeah, apparently I, I'm Heathcliff Huxtable without without uh, Theo, you know. And let's not let's not sleep on the sweaters either. Like like Heathcliff, Heathcliff used to come with the sweaters, and them boys wasn't cheap either. Like like people you would clown him for them sweaters, but them sweaters was like five stacks, a thousand dollars here. Fuck the sweaters, the sandwiches. The sandwiches was classic. Like, it, it, it's, oh my god! Like I don't think there's a better sandwich maker in the history of TV than Fact. Heathcliff Huxtable. Show Fact. that man the sandwich respect. You know? uh, yeah, the patterns was crazy on the sweaters though. Shout out to uh, Sun Ray and Awkward Black Gal uh, in, in on YouTube. Hey, yo, Sun Ray, bruh. Like we really want to get a couple of those beats, man, that you got posted, man. So, so let me know how we can make that happen, cause you sits fire, bro. Um, and shout out to Markel, Adrian, uh, y'all already know Joe Cool, an official member of my Skin Is My Sin Radio. That's our statistician. You know, I fuck that word up every time, man. Oh, um, and damn, I'm supposed to have a number up here. Every time I try to take a damn call, though, man, that shit don't go right. What's that? Oh, I forgot about that too. I'm just uh, oh, bam, there we go. And Rome, you in the way as usual. I'm just fucking with you, bro. Only right, man. But shit, man, what's what, what's up, man? I'm. He did have some Scooby and Shaggy sandwiches. Hey, the Scooby snacks used to like, man, they had an infinite amount of Scooby snacks. I wish I was selling them boys back then. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, um, hey, I'm I'm dead ass though, son Ray. Like I'm serious. We need to, uh, cause I I heard like dude got some. If you matter of fact, uh, if you check this out, man, go check out Sun Ray on on YouTube. Like, he got some fire tracks, and I'm not shitting you. You know, so shout out to him. Um, it's flames. Yeah, he do got some flames. I was about to ask you some shit, and it totally slipped my mind because you had said something. And it just it it gave me one of those like questions. I can't remember this shit. Bacon burger dogs. I ain't heard that word. God damn. When did when was the uh the Cosby show? Is that the eighties? Eighties. Wow. I am old as fuck, bruh. Like I remember Rudy being like four. Now she's oh, what, like 30? Yo, oh, no, fuck no, she's not 30. Yo, listen, Rudy is probably one of the only child TV stars who, like, yo, you understand how fine Rudy is, yo? I can't, I mean, she, she she's a nice-looking young lady. Like, I can't remember her no other way than just, like, Rudy. I just can't, nah, man. Nah, I can't so get out of that. Nah, I'm I'm past it. I'm beyond. You know what I'm saying? That's just beyond. So, like, yeah, uh, that's, that's you. For me, it's kind of creepy, you know. But um um um, uh, what's the what's the show with Stretch on there? Um, uh, it was a, like uh, it, they had a little comedy. It was him and his daughter. She was out. I think she was like maybe twelve when she started the show. Some shit like that. 
Kyra oh. Pratt. Yes. Rudy is yeah. 40? Oh, my God. I feel horrible now, bro. Thanks. Fine-ass 40, though. Like, Rudy fine as shit, bro. Like, I do I do every Cosby fucking dance, bro. Like, all them shit. Sweater, everything. I Like, yo, know, Rudy bad, bro. Man, Lisa Bonet used to be, oh, my God. Like, she would... Oh, Lord, man. Like, that was the one for me back then. And then when she started, you know, when she got the Lenny Kravitz mode, it just, you know, at that time, I wasn't prepared for such a, a drastic change. She was always a little out there. But, man, Lenny Kravitz, uh, he he Erica badu her before Eric. Actually, she, I guess it should be Lenny, Lenny Kravitz because he was doing that to chicks before Erica badu got a hold of dudes. Yo, you know who I wanted though? Like I like to this day, like if I saw her, like I'm shooting the jumper. Fucking Freddie from a different world, bro. Ew. Oh my god. Ew, really? What? Ew. Oh my goodness. And no, 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 no disrespect to Freddie. Um, but low key from a different world, um what was the chocolate sister name? Tim. She could always get it, man. Like, I don't. Oh my God! Yes, yeah. yeah. Back in the day, yeah, that was that. That was the go-to move right there for me. And two, like it was like two women in life was like, yo, if I ever see them in life, yo, I don't care where I'm at, like I'm going to shoot jumper and Freddie from a different world and Lynn from girlfriend. Either one of them. Oh Ooh. my. God. Yes, Lynn, Lynn. Okay, I'm with you on Lynn from Girlfriends. I get you. I get you on that. Maya, right? Maya, she was cool. She oh my was goodness, cool. no, way more than that. And Jasmine Guy, like I used to have the biggest crush on her until I saw her in the uh, doing the, in the little leotard get up, and she just really doesn't have much of a figure. Nowhere, like she's 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 got a, a ballerina's body. And yeah. you know, it just at the time I was like, hey. I was a little disappointed. I was a little hurt, you know. But that was a dope ass show too, by the way. And that might be the best spinoff of another dope show. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'm sitting here trying. I'm trying to think like, what's another? Actually, I take that back. Now that I think about it, the Jeffersons, bruh. The Jeffersons was a spinoff of uh, All in the Family. And you can say what you want, but All in the Family was fucking hilarious, bro. All in the Family was funny, and um, Mama's Family was funny. Mama, I, I'm not even going to front. Mama's Family was actually kind of funny. <laughs> you know, but Archie Bunker, man, was, oh, Erica Alexander, Maxine Shaw. Okay, I can understand that one. Yeah. Hey, I ain't like like, actually, I ain't like nobody on um, Living Sing. Really? Nobody. Oh like, my god, bro! For the long and the, for the longest time, man, I had this thing for Queen Latifah. And, oh man! And, and you know, I'm way too short to be having a thing for Queen Latifah, but bro, like for the longest time, like she was just like when I remember seeing her in uh uh her first joint, man, when she came out, she had like the the uh the dashiki hat on like a crown and the 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 hey. dashiki garb and she was big and strong i was like oh love that shit you know she was dope and then you know as you grow I mean, yeah. older literally she was dope but like yeah like yeah you know like we're all we like i don't know man like i ain't, ain't no distant queen like people but like she was just like never sexy like you know what I'm saying? Like it was almost like you know, like you 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 seen um just right the movie with Common. No, wait, 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 wait. Is that the one where um she was the physical therapist? He who? Yeah. Like, blues yeah. Some shit. Yeah. And like you just knew the nigga was acting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, because Common is is not the best actor though. Like you can't like she's a good actor. She's a good actress. Out of an actress. Yeah. And she might she might actually be the best um like hip hop artist slash actor actress. She might be the best. 
Yeah. I, she's uh, she's done like uh what was the um something about bees movie can't remember the whole name but like like that was a really dope like she's been in some dope ass movies and it ain't been just the same uh 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 character over and over and over and oh, yet she's versatile as an actress she's yeah. definitely yeah, yeah she's definitely uh, uh, she might be the best though you know and I did not know I did not know that Joe Cool said that uh Good Times was a spinoff from Maud. See, I don't, I, wow. I, I, like, like, Maud is, is, like, even before my time, if that's possible, you know, um, Good Times and Maud were all spinoffs from All in the Family, see, I did not know that, bro, that, 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 that that's some shit I did not know, oh, Good but, ever, okay, let yeah, me, I'm... let me ask you this then, top five sitcoms of all time. Top five sitcoms. My top five sitcoms of all time? Yes. Martin. Okay. Martin, Fresh Prince, um, Seinfeld. Okay. Good Times. Good Times? Okay. Fuck yeah. Okay. And um, I want it. No, I'm not going to go family match. I probably would say Family Matters. Hilarious fucking show, bro. Yeah, like, Family Matters. Although that show is the devil. That I'm not even gonna front. Like, if you believe in shit like that, like that show is the devil, man. They, they've been preparing us with Family Guy and uh, The Simpsons for a long time. They they made it easier with cartoons, you know. Um, but let me see what my top five would be. Cheers. Cheers was a funny fucking show. Um, I never... actually, and 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 and. and they had a dope ass spinoff too, cause Fraser Crane was fucking hilarious. But I'm gonna go with Cheers. Um, who else did you say? Is it Seinfeld? I fucks with Seinfeld. Um, ah, I might agree with you on Good Times, especially cause I just it just just you know that that was like my childhood, you know, and right. and it was funny even though visually. It's not a good look, man. They, 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 you know, and especially hearing some of the stories afterward. But anyway, um, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, oh, I'm gonna have to steal some from Mark Hill too, man. I'm gonna go with the Jeffersons over Good Times. Fuck no. Hey, man. When was the first time you seen a black man call a white dude a hunky on TV? Right. Man, I- that alone, uh, that alone gets you in my top five, bro. Not, 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 nobody, not to mention he was fucking funny. Nobody took George Jefferson seriously, though. Like niggas was scared of James Evans. You know what I'm saying? James Evans, like he robbed. Like George Jefferson looked like the the robbie. Like he's gonna be the victim. Right. Well, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we, before we get too far, um, let me see. How many do I got so far? I got Seinfeld. I got uh, uh, the Jeffersons, and I, I thought I said a third one. Oh, cheers. All right, so that's three. Um, I'm trying to think who would make number four and number five. Like, what show just fucking just, just kills me? Uh, I might have to fuck with you on The Fresh Prince, man. The Fresh Prince is, is so highly underrated, man. And it just, like, to this day, I can watch The Fresh Prince. Like, I'm not even going to front. Like, some Martin shows to, today watching, I don't laugh at. When I used to, like, be rolling, like, 20 years ago or whenever it was on. But the Fresh Prince, like the shit, I still laugh at the same shit over and over and over. That's that's dope. Um, so that's four. And what would be number five? Damn, I'm trying to think. And I done seen a lot of good uh fucking uh I don't know if I would put Bernie. Bernie Mac was funny, but I wouldn't put in Living Color, actually. Markel hey, yeah, I'm, say we didn't we didn't spe- we didn't say I I thought we were just talking about just, just, like, just comedy uh, shows, yeah, like sitcoms. Yeah, like yeah. I, I would definitely Chappelle showing the Living Color in my top five for that. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, damn, I might have to go with uh Frazier for the last one. Like, I just might have to. I'm trying. I'm sitting here trying to think, man. Just me personally, shit that I uh, like Frazier was not funny. Like, it was, it was to-, to me. I used to watch Friends. Oh, that's horrible, bro. It was horrible with my mom. Like, my oh. mom's like, and I'd be like, 
what the hell is like every episode? I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, it was horrible. Like Frazier, Frazier was like, oh, my 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 brother has slept with my with, with my ex girlfriend and they're engaged, and we go to dinner together. Like, like. Yeah, like that. That like that one girl was a straight thought though. Like if we gonna keep it, we gonna keep it a stack, man. She like ran through the whole crew. I listen. So you know that. So you already know that I, I've seen it at some point in time for me to say that. Yeah, yeah. I think you, the show was so the, the show was so huge. Like like it be it, it you be hard pressed to find somebody that has not watched a few minutes or an episode or two of that shit, whether you liked it or not. Niggas watched it and turned the channel. Like yeah. King, King, Kings of Queens was funny. That was hilarious. King of Queens was funny, and um, everybody loves Raymond was funny. Yo, yo, yo! The father-in-law on King of Queens, though, man, gotta be. He might be like the funniest, like not the main character. He got to be up there, bro. That dude yeah. was so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, Mash is probably my favorite TV show ever. <clears throat> yes. I never. I've, I, I said it. I feel better too. I got that shit off my chest. It was cathartic. But yes, man, and I think I might have been the only brother in Detroit that was watching Mash, and I would not tell nobody. I would literally go home and watch that shit by myself. Word, like yo, who the fuck watch? All right, what about Matlock? Matlock, yes, I have watched Matlock, but that's not something that like I, you know, that's like me and my grandma sitting up watching TV. I Ac- would like to- actually, it'd be Columbo. Mash was ass, my nigga. Like I can't, I can't. Mash is ass. It was not, um, man. That was one of the, you know the, the 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 final Mash is still, if not the top most watched TV program ever. It's like in the top five, top five. Yeah. Top. Like, like, dumb shit. Wait a minute, you gonna hate, hold on, hold on, bro. Adrian, you gonna hate on uh Mash, but Matlock was dope. Oh come on. Matlock was Matlock was kind of that nigga low key, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro, I ain't had no sip today, man. I'm just being honest. Colombo was aight, you know, but he was like. I don't know. I don't want to say he wasn't an idiot because he always solved the case, but he was an idiot doing it. It was just irritating to me. Oh, man, I'm telling y'all, man, I to this day, I will watch a MASH episode. It's that MASH, though, like that, that, that was that was my guilty pleasure back in the day. And, 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 and I'm a nurse. So maybe that was just, you know, the, the world telling me this is what you're going to do, because I thought this shit was dope. You know, um, no, bro, that was one of the most top rated shows um, in its era. Like, MASH was like a big deal, bro. They made a movie about this shit, too. You know, um, MASH and and Family Ties was like my my uh, secret, right, you, secret shows that I watched. Like, I wouldn't tell them. No, I wouldn't tell nobody else about those. You have said Alf. I'd have been with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Family Ties. Yes, shit was hilarious, bro. Yes, I was an Alex P. Keaton fan, bro. I like, I wanted to get money like Alex P. Keaton wanted to get money. Like, you ain't even say like you didn't even say Alf. Like Alf was funny, my nigga. I was an advanced cat though, bro. Like he was talking about shit that I was thinking about and didn't have anybody to talk about it with, except adults. You know, so like when he was talking about, I wasn't know no Republican shit, but I didn't really know. Actually, to be quite honest, I, I wasn't thinking about it that way. I was a kid, you know. But as far as as the way he was always trying to make money, loved that shit. If I had the bread, I definitely would have been rocking suits to school. I mean, chances are that was a Jewish produced show. It probably was, but. As far as like I don't know how old I was when that show came out, but as far as the like like I was like the smart kid in our in the neighborhood. So there were some things that I'm looking at mentally that they looking at maybe a little bit differently. Like I'm thinking, okay, 
Like, how can we translate this shit? Like, I see the little little hustles he be trying to do, but them was real life hustles. He was ahead of the game. He was tr- trying to teach his parents shit. So I, I yeah. identif- I identified with that shit because I I like that aspect of it. Like there was it was like, some corny shit. Like I'm not going. That's not a show that really like did well over time. That, that nigga didn't eat cat and he didn't have jokes for everybody in the family. Alf did, my nigga. Oh, Alf was the I, I'm hey Alf was the shit. I'm not fronting. Night Court was yeah. dope too. Night Court was funny. Night Court was Night funny. Court. Night Court was funny. Well, um, what's the sister name? Marsha was it Marsha? Is it Marsha Harris? And and and, and the big tall white dude, oh, that shit was funny, bro. Night Court was funny. Uh, I'm trying to think what what else low key. Oh oh, I got some old. I don't know how many old heads we got in the house besides my myself though. But do anybody remember Benny Hill? That's what I need to know right there. Marsha Warfield and Bull. Yeah, I know I didn't do that shit, bro. I ain't even near the, uh, whatchamacallit. So you must have muted yourself somehow. But uh, Benny Hill was funny as hell. Me and my cousin Angie, I don't know how old I was. Uh, I think I was in, actually I was in elementary school. Yes, I am old. Um, But we would, <laughs> we would sneak and... uh. <laughs> And, and and like my, my auntie, like she had this really small ass TV. I don't know if you remember, like the first portable TVs, they was, uh, it's like two inches, you know, like that. we would put a blanket over us and sit at the table like that was going to make us disappear and watch Benny Hill and, uh, 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 damn, 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 Cell Block H and Cell Block H was a show like it, they was both based out of England. Or you know the UK, but Cell Block H was a, a a women's prison show, and this shit was funny to me, man. Like we would just sit up, and this shit was like an hour of our life every every other night doing this shit. You know, uh, I'm trying to think like Golden Girls, bro. Like, thank you for being a friend. Oh, you know, that I, that, I that hate Golden. Girls. Oh, you stop it, bro. I hate no, fucking Golden Girls. Oh, how nah, do you, what's wrong Hear with you, out. man? Golden Girls is an old white chick, is, is old white chick version of Hot Girl Summer. It's the same shit. It's about old ass, horny women. But they was mad. funny, though, bro. Was it? Like, it was, no, it wasn't. It was just <sighs> an old, it was a bunch of old, washed up white women trying to give ass out. In the daily, in the everyday struggle. <laughs> it's still <laughs> funny though, bro. <laughs> and and they might have the most memorable uh, theme song in the history of theme songs. Like, tell me a more memorable theme song than the Golden Girls. You don't even like the show, and I bet you, you know part of the, the theme song, don't you? I I know the look, all right, I dated a woman who was obsessed with Golden Girls, so I definitely know the song. That's you know weird, saying? though, bro. Obsessed. It but was. That, that's you saying it, though. Oh, it's fact. That's you if saying she heard, it. She heard this shit right now, and she will confirm everything I'm saying. She Man. watched every episode of Golden Girls, bro. And when I used to go over to the crib and go chill with her, you know what I mean, and try to do my thing when I fucking Golden Girls. So like I be smashing Golden Girls with them. Like I like all of that shit. So <laughs> like I, <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, we got some silly people out there, man. Y'all don't. Uh I never sang Golden Girls drunk at a bar, but I have cheers. Actually, there are a lot of people across the planet that get drunk and sing the Golden Girls theme song too. It happens, you know. You, it's this. It's it's one of those songs that we all know, whether we like the show or not. It's one of them joints that everybody like. You know enough to to join in. All right, so that's just like all right. So then you know the full house song. I don't know the full house song. I I was not a full house fan, bro. I wasn't a full house fan either. No, 
Like that shit was. Yeah. You want to talk about corny? That might be one of the corniest shows to ever, ever grace the television. I agree. Yeah. Agree. But, <laughs> Golden cool? Girls, Golden Girls just covered up horny old white women with it being, oh, they're sarcastic and and witty. Like, nah, make it the fuck out of here. Like, it's it's four different versions of old women trying to give up ass. The niggas and they live together. It was still funny though, man. Like, don't you like you? You, you can say what you want, man. But it, for the rest of us, and you know, most of us like the Golden Girls. Like that shit was funny, bro. No, not most of us. You. I, matter of fact, like, like I wasn't the person that brought up the Golden Girls. Actually, uh, Markel was. I used to watch Golden Girls with my grandma, and he liked. You know, I bet you Markel liked that shit too. You know, tell me somebody besides you that didn't like the Golden Girls, man. Whoever don't like it, if you don't like the Golden Girls, you got to be a mass murderer. Something wrong with you, bro. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> something, something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody right with you. Okay, Three's Company was mad corny. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, no. Three's Company was mad corny, bro. Like that, come on, son. You got to stop. I gotta, I gotta bring the East Coast out. East Coast out now, man. Like, stop it, son. Oh no, Jack Triple was that nigga for real. He had two balls in the house, and he was smashing on both of them. No, he was yeah. not. No, he was not. Stop it, man. Never it once. Matter of fact, not not even not not uh not 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 the chick with the black hair, or it was like three different blondes that they had as Chrissy on the show. Not nan one of them. Never, bruh. Lamest dude in the history of lame dudes. He was hitting them, though. No, he wasn't. No, he was not. No, he, he was the corny dude that fell over shit. He was uh he was Mr. Roper as a young man. You think that? And he was, bro. I mean, we got we got to go by it. We got to go by it's it's facts, bro. Like they got they, we got a catalog that we can go back and look at. Like we can't just, was, we just can't assume he, shit. He was an undercover side nigga, bro. Like, they did. <laughs> Play this part. They, they shared a bedroom to stay away from him. That's telling you something, bro. Oh, let, that just means. Oh, they shared a bedroom to stay away from him. They could Somebody could have slept on the couch. No, they didn't want to be around his creepy ass. Always don't tell me he's going to be a chef. Did he ever make it? I'm curious. You know, who watched that show enough to know if he ever made it to be a chef? You know, but that's got to be up there with the corniest shows in the history of corny shows. Uh, who? I bet you he smashed. I bet you didn't. Uh, Monk? Um. All right, Monk. Monk, Monk is, is just an awkward Jewish nigga. Monk is think? Monk is a poor man's Columbo. Yeah, and he's just like extra Jewish. You know what I'm saying? And then he... <laughs> Yo, real shit though. I, I, what does that even mean, bro? So exactly what it means. That's why you lie. He's just extra. He's just extra Jewish. You know what I'm saying? Just everything is. You already just and but and, and before you go any further, that comment does not represent my skin as my sin. I just want to let y'all know that. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Hey, nigga complains about everything. <laughs> he, I forget, he has some type of disorder, but he literally was like, like I don't even want to spend too much time on Monk, man, because I to me, yeah, that that might have been one of the trashiest shows ever. Actually. I'll put it a step above Trashy because I have actually sat and watched a few episodes in Monk. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I won't put it as the corniest show ever, but it's 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 a bad show. It's not something that I'd be like, yeah, you should go watch that shit. Disclaimer, facts. Um, that was funny. Nigga, that was funny. Every, he's a germaphobe. Like, yeah. so he's a germaphobe. So a nigga crying about shaking somebody's hand. Like, and he just and that should be real though. It's so, a he's a one victimizer. Like, 
I mean, but it's a lot of people that that, that are germaphobes, and that shit is real. Like, I don't want I, I don't want to discount that. But I man, come on, man, it's fucking monk, man. Let's not spend that much time on on monk, bro. Like, 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 tell me, uh, which law and order is best? SVU, uh, yeah, I do get bored easily. I really do. M- monk is trash, though, bro. Like, let's monk is right up there with murder. She wrote. Okay, yeah, murder. She wrote might be the corniest show ever like i'd watch a marathon of matlock before i'd watch one episode of murder she wrote and i'm not a matlock fan but matlock was kind of cool he had the old man swag going on he was smart you know and he wasn't charging you no bread like you can't be mad at that like you got the best the best lawyer and it'd be free most of the time <laughs> Monk and ho- murder she wrote was horrible. Next, <laughs> all right. What's better, uh, Law and Order SVU, Criminal Intent, or what was the other Law and Order? It's uh, I, the one with IC is the best one. Actually, just regular Law and Order. Uh, think about it. Uh, SVU there. It depends on when when SVU. Like when Elliot left, it just went. It, it became one of the worst shows ever. Um, uh, but I it, see the ponytail. No man, actually, man. Uh, CS. I, I mean, uh, Criminal Intent might have been the dopest one when Goran was on there. When Goran was uh partnered up with Old Girl. Like I think as far as TV detectives, oh those two. As a, as a pair. Hands down the best. New York Undercover was lit for its time. Like New York yeah. Undercover didn't didn't really stand, you know, like watching it now, it just seemed so dated. But back then that was shit was like, man, it, like he was going home to watch New York Undercover. That was the shit back in the day. Yeah, it was. Yeah, like but Law and Order might actually be the best T V series in the history of ever. No. No, 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 no. Not. Uh, I mean, and not 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 just a series. I say uh, the best. I don't know. Um, the, the the with the most spinoffs and the best of them. You know what I'm saying? Like like who don't sit up and watch a marathon of Law and Order one weekend out the year at least. The Wire is the best TV show to ever come on TV. It is the most accurate, exact depiction. Of a city, scenario, era, everything. See, I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't know. I ain't from Baltimore, but I'm gonna take your word on that one. But it was a dope ass show, though, too. I came front on that. Wire, wire is exactly what it was. That is that was Baltimore. Is the exact depiction hmm. the, uh, of bodies in a bando. You know what I'm saying? Even how they was putting the bodies in the in the in the, in the houses in the abandoned houses it was exact you know what i'm saying it was to the t the, the why is the best show ever bro like and i ain't even saying that because i'm from baltimore you know I mean? i'm saying that because i knew both sides you know what i'm saying like i i knew what was going on i knew what was going to do in that era but the way that they involved it, the way that they trapped the city and the energy mm-hmm. and to the lingo, I mean, to everything, well, everything about it was spot on. Everything. But the best, huh? Hmm. Like just best. just, just the best one, one show series? Because, see, I wasn't talking about just like a series, but... Since you want to go there, I'm trying to think what what. Eh, well, nobody would agree with me on my shit, so I'll go to something that's a little bit more mainstream. Uh, the best, the best series. And how how many how many years was the Wire on? About five. The Wire had five seasons. Okay. Hmm. For five. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What would I consider like the best? Like I actually, and I don't even think I would say Mash, although for me that would definitely be like I said top five. But like just the overall best, 
Stop it, bro. Stop, man. This thing, what's up the fuck with that? The fat boys, man. Why y'all hating on them? Yo, who said that? Shout out to them. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you, man. Figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> 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 that's Markel, man. Yeah, that's that's a fact, man. Talk to this nigga, man. Man, it's the P, bro. Like, man, get the fuck out of here, yo. We we are not about to do this about the fat boys, bro. Like, we have done this like seventy four shows, man. We cannot be that show that always talk about the fat boys. Much as I fuck with them, man. Nope, we ain't doing it, Joe Cool. Like, you bring up one another one of your trash rappers, and we'll talk about them, but. We're done with the Master P and the Fat Boys. I give it to you. Master P is the greatest MC to ever touch a microphone, bro. No, I just heard the nigga, he's better than the fucking Fat Boys. You see, see, see? You trying to drag me. I try try to get out, man, and they, here they go, man. They drag me right back in. You see, I'm nope, I ain't going there, though. I'm, I'm, I'm not, man. You know, um, best actress, who you got oh. of all time? I need to know, and I don't know why I'm on this act, on, on the acting shit tonight, but fuck it, you know we'll roll. Oh, and why you think of that, bro? I got this 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 clip from Airplane that I'm gonna incorporate into like an intro for us for the water cooler. That part, you remember that part when them niggas is talking jive on the plane? That might be one of the funniest what minutes of movie them ever. Uh, you too young. You too young to remember that shit, man. I remember airplane niggas so was seeing shit on the wing and shit. Uh, I know you talking about. Oh, you know a movie that fucked me up though, man. Like for a long ass time, uh, Final Destination. Like that shit, man, had me bugging for years, bruh. Like that was wild. That shit well, was so wild and so imaginable like you can see some of that shit like action you know like that shit happens all right oh <laughs> we gotta get one for the uh for the water cooler we'll still have that that intro on thursdays you know uh yeah final destination was oh my god bro that was like and i'm not a scary uh movie dude i'm not gonna front i get nightmares up the wazoo uh I seen that shit, man. I'm telling you, my sleep cycle was fucked up for a long. It's still fucked up. Like, I don't even know if I've ever recovered from seeing that shit. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I brought that up, because I'm probably going to have a nightmare tonight, man. Damn, y'all. I liked that shit. Like, I thought of Mice and Men was fun at one point in time and shit. Like, especially, you ever see the movie? Of Mice and Men. I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. Oh, it's, it's the, you know, the acting for me, bro. Like, I remember being in college. And we had to watch this shit in English. And I could not stop laughing at this shit, bro. Because the, the, the acting was just so bad that, you know, like, the nigga who played the retarded nigga, like, yeah, he low-key might deserve an Oscar for the for his role, bro. Like, he was good as shit. Like, he was extra retarded. So, you know what I mean? Like, I was in class, and I'm the only nigga laughing and shit. You know what I mean? Like, when I thought the shit was funny. And when he killed them at the end of the movie, the fashion and how it happened, I found funny. Not the fact that he killed the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never seen it, bro. you never seen a mice? you read a mice man? No. Oh, man. Yeah, I have no clue. Nothing. How many times uh, have, have, have I escaped death? I think most people have it at least three times in their life. All right, I definitely know one time I was standing in the middle of a shootout, drunk. Um, had a fucked up accident on the freeway. Definitely, that's two. Um, damn, what would be number three? Well, actually, I got shot at before again too. So I guess that would. I, I man, I probably had way more than that too. Actually, uh. And that was some random shit. Like, I didn't even, like, I, I, I remember I'm walking home one day. Matter of fact, I was in driver's ed. And, and I'm walking home. I'm, like, a block away from my house. 
and some dude just just uh in in a white uh uh grand dam and he's just sitting at the corner but he like halfway off the you know in, he's like halfway in the intersection and this is side streets um but I'm walking, and, 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 and first I was kind of walking fast pace, you know, I'm at the crib, you know, I'm ready to go home, um, and, and he don't move, and it's nobody else there, you know, so I'm like, okay, something ain't right with this shit, so I started slowing down a little bit, and still don't move, so now I'm, 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 I'm on alert, and I stopped, and all I heard was, 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 was Boom, boom, and I seen it. Dude had, uh, I don't know what, what, what size it was, but that motherfucker was huge, and it was chrome. And uh, I was out of there. Pew, hit the gates, hit the fences, and hit the crib. And all I heard was the tires burning. It came back outside, and they was gone. You know, oh, and I do remember him saying that I did some shit to his brother. Which... At the time, I hadn't done shit really to anybody to keep it a stack, you know. So I knew for a fact I hadn't done shit to his brother because I hadn't done shit to anybody's brother at that time. But, man, apparently I looked like somebody or that nigga eyesight was horrible. But dude literally tried to murk me, and I had absolutely no clue, no real uh, clue why. You know, the, the other time in the accident, me and my man's rented a car. Uh, I think I told this story. I can't remember. But rest in peace to my nigga dude, man. That was my guy. Rest in peace to you, King. So I could tell this story freely. Um, but we rented a car when we was in high school. And I think I was 16. And he was like 15 or 14. I can't remember which one. Um, but like I was supposed to drive the car. He got, he got his uh, sister boyfriend to rent the car. You know, because we wasn't old enough and we wasn't supposed to be driving it. But uh, old boy was trying to, uh, you know, he's trying to get in good with his sister. Um, so he rented a car and we driving, you know, and we, we, you know, life is good. Life is great. And and he started tripping. He want to drive the car. He like, man, I put in bread on this bitch. I should be able to drive it, too. And I'm like, come on, bro. You know, you ain't got no license. You know, you, you ain't supposed to be driving. We agreed on this shit. Come on, nigga. Come on. I'm All right. Fuck it, man. This nigga was behind the wheel no more than 10 minutes and for absolutely no reason runs into the median. We hit that bitch. The car skirts, slides around all the way to the other side and hit the other side of the freeway. Bounces back to the middle of the freeway and both of us are unharmed. Real shit. Like, that was the craziest dump. Like, oh, my God. I've never made that mistake again by, by, by not following my mind when it concerns my safety in a vehicle ever. You know, and the fucked up part about it, though, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I guess you probably could still sue me for it. Fuck it. Um, go ahead, bro. Um, but. So. My best friend, she came and got me. This is like 3 o'clock in the morning. Dropped me off at the crib. I meet back up. Me and dude meet up the next day. Like, okay, bro, how are we going to get out of this shit? What are we going to do? Uh, so we come up with this, this, this plan. And so, uh, and I don't know who this is, but somebody sent a picture. I, I didn't know you could do that shit. Uh, Yo, I'm I'm up here fucking with my phone shit, bro. I didn't mean to do that shit. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, man. Yeah, you fucking shit up. Like, I don't know if that's like you got. Anyway, I can get rid of that one. All right. Um, but so we like, okay, fuck it. What are we gonna do? So he's like, uh, I'm gonna say we got robbed. And I said, okay not a bad idea and it really ain't had you know i ain't really had to do shit but agree with the shit and so this nigga goes over to our other boy house take his shoes off you know get disheveled and shit uh because apparently that nigga hadn't went to the crib so told him told him we got robbed and that's this, this is first and doing this show is the first time i've told that story bro and that was 
30 years ago. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. You know? Um, yeah, I done had some crazy shit happen, bro. Like, I'm not even going to front. Uh, and Angela Bassett as best actress. I saw that too, Markel. Yeah, like, I, I might have to go with you on, on that one. Angela Bassett is a fucking phenomenal actress. And she has she has done a lot of shit. Oh, de- definitely Denzel, man. Like, I think we've been over that before. Yeah, definitely Denzel. Like, I don't even know if that's, you know. Like, it's a couple of people. I mean, well, there's a couple of people that if you said, like, Tom Hanks, I could not be mad at you. I'd still say Denzel, but I wouldn't debate you on it. Tom Hanks is top five, but he's not the GOAT. Uh, he is, but there's an argument to be made that he is. Like, let's not front on Tom Hanks, you know? Like, dude literally made a motherfucking movie by himself. And shit was fire. All right. Now, think, all right. So, all right. If you take every Denzel movie and replace Denzel with Tom Hanks, and if you take every Tom Hanks movie and replace him with Denzel, who has a better movie? I mean, some of the movies we're not going to believe Tom Hanks because you got to be a brother to play. So that's unfair. Like, you're not going to believe Tom Hanks is in training day, bro. Stop it. Like, you're not going to believe that, that, that Tom Hanks is Frank Lucas or Malcolm X. You feel I me? I mean, I don't know. No, you're, come on, bro. It, if Tom Hanks tried to play fucking Malcolm X, niggas would lose their mind, myself included. <laughs> so don't don't do that, bro. Like that's a uh, that's an unfair question to ask because, yeah, Denzel can play everything Tom Hanks has played, but there's some cer- certain point, characters. Though. Yeah, but there's that's certain my point. no, but there's that's certain characters like 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 Denzel has played some characters throughout, for, you know, that were historic figures. So them being a white person inherently would would we would go ape shit. Denzel could have been Forrest Gump and did Forrest Gump better than Tom Hanks. No, stop it, bro. No, he couldn't have. Yes, he could have. No, he couldn't have. Yes, he could have. No. Oh, come on, bro. Stop it. No. No. That that I don't believe. I don't believe that at all. You know, I don't think you believe that or you'll still be arguing the shit. Yeah. Tom- nah, I, I, that is, but listen, I, I, I honestly believe that Denzel Washington can play any role that he wants to play. I don't think, I mean, you just said it. Tom Hanks can't play every role that he would want to play. Tom Hanks can't play Malcolm X. Denzel Washington could play Forrest Gump. I mean, but Denzel Washington couldn't play. Uh, 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 what, what, what's the movie that uh, Mel Gibson played in? The Scottish motherfucker. Braveheart. Yeah, he couldn't play that dude. That's a, Braveheart was probably black, my nigga. Oh, okay. Yeah, it might. It's possible, but. To to our knowledge, he's a white dude. You get my point. Like there's some like some historical figures that in in the interest of accuracy, you want them to actually look like the motherfucker. So it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're going to do like sort of a biopic, it's kinda hard to do a biopic with a motherfucker that don't look nothing like the motherfucker. You know? Listen, they made a movie called Gods of Egypt with no black people. Did you like that shit? I never even fucking watched it. I'm not supporting that bullshit. Exactly. My point, bro. <laughs> That's my point. Like certain shit would just be dumb to do as a as a uh a a a, 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 mo- a film artist or whatever, a movie maker, whatever you want to say, um a studio. Like it would just be stupid to put Tom Hanks in American Gangster. Like you might as well just throw your money down the toilet. You know, but yeah, I would say Denzel and Tom Hanks I definitely can't, I top can't five. Say that. I mean, Chris, Christopher Walken was the king of New York. Yeah, but was there a real king of New York? Right. Was it a real, was it a real Forrest Gump? No, that's my point. Like on exactly. shit, right? Like like on shit that can go like actor for actor or actress for actress, and is it, it don't have anything to do with a historical figure. I don't think that there's anything that that I would be like. Tom Hanks can't do that, but Denzel can, and vice versa. Like, 
Except, I don't know. except, I take that back. I take that back. Except for training day, like that shit would just look corny. I, I, I guess because I got you know the nice guy Tom Hanks. Like it would be dope to see actually Tom Hanks try to do some shit like that though. I'm not gonna lie. Like that would be so out of character for him. And if he could pull it off, that shit would be fire. You know, I kind of wish he would do something like that. And that's why I would give the edge to Denzel as far as being the greatest. You know, but. Like I say, I wouldn't be mad at you if you if somebody was like, "Well, I think Tom Hanks is," and I'm like, "Okay." Like if you was like, "Uh, what's Ron Ron Howard's brother's name?" I can't remember his name, but he had been in up like a hundred movies. The goofy, uh, the goofy looking white dude with 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 the bald head, with the white dude bald head, you know, with the hair on the side and shit. Um, it's an ugly looking dude, man. Clint Howard, that's his name. Now, if you was like that nigga is the best actor ever, then you know we got problems. You know, like I'm, I'm like first off, I'm gonna think you stupid. Like, like, what movie was he in, Sun Ray? Uh, I, I, it, he's one of those dudes that's been in like a million movies that they had actual, you know, I ain't talking about just extra shit. He done had parts, but you don't remember the movie he was in. Like he ain't never been like the star. He ain't never been like the the co star. He like the, nigga, the fourth in, star. Yeah, they was in Short Circuit three. They made three of those. <laughs> hey yo, chill on Johnny Five though, my nigga. Like Short Circuit was was, was cool for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, my nigga. No, no. Oh man, I'm trying to think of the movie, man. It wasn't Back to the Future. Um. What's the goofy looking uh red haired white boy from like like that was in uh I think it was Sixteen Candles with the braces. Uh he was it him that made this movie about going back in time? Oh no, I'm thinking about Bill and Ted. That movie was fucking funny, bro. That 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 they were so stupid. Right. But it I, and I've always like been kind of like juvenile in some of the humor. I like it's crazy with me too. Like it's it, I like really really stupid shit. Like uh uh oh Talladega Nights, man. That's got to be one of the funniest fucking movies in the history of mankind, bro. Talladega Nights is fucking hilarious. Thank you. I- oh my god! Like when he when he was putting out the imaginary fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm a, bro! I'm gonna give you a Will Ferrell movie that's low key funny and shit that nobody talks about. What's that? But I thought that shit was fucking dead ass hilarious. Semi pro. Oh, 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 oh! Is that the one where they were the Flint Tropics? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> that's funny as shit, my nigga. <laughs> Nobody talks about semi pro, yo. Hey, low key, Will Ferrell got like some 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 comedic classics, and he has quite a few, man. Because he got Step, Step Brothers is a classic. Step Tal- Brothers, Talladega Nights is a classic, and, and we both agree, man. Semi pro, low key, was, it might have been funnier than most of them motherfuckers. That shit was classic. hilarious, man. Old school is fucking classic. Oh my goodness! Uh, old school is hilarious, bro. What, what, what did they call uh, the old guy? In old school, blue, blue. <laughs> and oh not my even not, not to mention Anchorman. Anchorman is fucking hilarious. And actually, Anchorman Two was hilarious too. It was. It yes. was. Yeah. And not only that, Will Ferrell made history last night. The nigga made every late night show as Ron Burgundy because he's launching the Ron Burgundy podcast. That shit's going to be epic, yo. Yeah, that shit is going to be fucking epic. I did not fucking know that. Epic. That was yeah. That's brilliant, though. Brilliant. Brilliant, yo. Hey, yo, and Ron Burgundy, bro. That dude, like, like the scene went, went uh... When he was playing, he pulled out the flute out his pocket. Yo, that shit was fucking. <laughs> oh my god, man! And he's like, I told you, he read anything off the telepro. Oh my god, man! That that movie just got so many. Just yeah, that that movie was hilarious. 
Anchorman is fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah. Like, you got to have a certain sense of humor to get Will Ferrell comedy. It's gotta you know be, what I'm saying? He, he make movies for the teenage boy in all of us. And we, right. dra- we drag our women to the movies with us. Pretty much. And we be dying laughing and they be looking at us like, it's not that funny. Like, yes, I it is. Every time. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh man, the ladies like man, was, the ladies man was hilarious, bro. The ladies man was funny as shit too. The ladies man was, oh my, god. yeah, uh, yeah, that, that movie was not a good, such a good look for Will Ferrell, though, man. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Like that was, yeah, I, I might have passed on that one. Actually, said, I said, he said, "What position are you applying for?" <laughs> Dab it. <laughs> Dab it. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, the the butt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, I never forget oh, that shit. Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> hey man, like, like I'm not gonna front. Like Keanu Reeves has got to be one of the most overrated actors in the history of acting. Yeah, Him? all right, you're going too far. Come he was on, Neo bro. in the Matrix, bro. Like but that's it, bro. That's it. Yeah, but the Matrix is so. I mean, but there's some obscure baseball player that hit four home runs in a game. There's some pitcher out there that pitched the perfect game, and we don't know that nigga name. Like no, you, bro. You had, he had, I'm not going to front, the Matrix classic. Yes, it is right. classic. John Wick. John Wick is that nigga. I've never seen that, to be quite honest. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've never seen that, man. Bro, you, all right. So like you remember Charles Bronson, Death Wish, all that shit back in the day. Charles Bronson movies to be hella hard. Mm-hmm. John Wick is literally a comic, but he's an assassin. It's literally like some new age Charles Bronson shit, but it looks just looks super dope. And the nigga's character, like Keanu Reeves, is John Wick. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like. You got to watch John Wick, bro. Like, it's on Netflix, my nigga. You, it, the first, I think both, the first two John Wicks are on Netflix. You have to, like, as a man, you're, like, obligated to watch John Wick. Wow, bro. Is, is that deep? John Wick is the shit, yo. All right, and, and I'm trying to do some shit. Um, yeah, I, I, apparently I do need to see John Wick, but I'm trying to um, let me know if y'all can still hear me because uh, hear us. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, work with switching the scenes, so I figure I experiment a little bit, you know. Um, and if you want to buy some shit, hit us up at myskinismysin.net. Oh man, and I forgot to tell y'all, man, if you check the show out tonight, man, share the show. If you check us out in two weeks, man, share the show. And if you are that motherfucker that digs us up in 17 trillion years. First off, you the dopest motherfucker to ever walk the galaxy for digging up this greatness and share our shit. Um, yeah, that's actually kind of dope. Okay. I didn't know, like, if I did that, um, would the, uh, the audio transfer with it? Am I bad? Uh, and, hell, all right, bet. Oh, shit. And we got the little transitions going off. That's kind of fire. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of... Okay. Uh, all right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, Leonardo is, is definitely a... And Leonardo might have... Actually, I take that back. I don't think I've ever seen Leonardo do like a comedy. You ever see Catch Me If You Can? Is that the one where he was like pretty much every occupation? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Yo, yeah, DiCaprio was like DiCaprio's kind of like his Eris Pacino. He no, that's disrespectful to DiCaprio. He's way better than Pacino, bro. No. Uh, yes, hey. yes, yes, he is. Yes. Like dude can like Pacino can can act, but I think Caprio got 
he's just better. Like I, I don't, you know, and he's been doing it since he like 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 he started off earlier. Like he was a kid when he got on, and he was just a natural at the shit. But Chino is dope. I'm not taking it away from him. But Titanic was boring, bro. Like like I'm not even gonna front. However, you and I is one of the few people that think that. You know, cause I've never finished the Titanic ever in life. It's not been a day. And, well, you know what? The Titanic was was for women, and they dragged us to the movies with them. You know that'd be the trade off, baby. Let's go see uh uh Talladega Nights. I don't want to see that goofy shit. Well, I'll go see Titanic with you. All right. That's not even a fair compromise. That that it. I mean, yeah. I I guess yeah. You know, uh, but whether it's fair or not, it happens a lot. You know. Oh, and I just wanted to uh. <laughs> Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Side, side niggas don't endure any of that shit. Those are like... It's like a... It's a diet relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just... You want you want the product without the bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you may be... You know, who knows? Let's see. <laughs> Leonardo played a lot of different roles. What's he, yeah? Leonardo has played like I don't know how many movies that he has been in, but Leonardo, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio has played. Uh, and what was the movie where he was like the Irish gangster? The Departed. Hey, uh, like he was he was putting in work fire. too. He was fire in Departed, yeah. yo. He was fire. The Departed. Um, what's the joint where and uh, with the the mental shit? Um. Oh, uh, when they was on that island? No, not the island. The um, the shit where they was going in people's minds. Oh, that was fire too. That shit was fire. That was um, fire. Yes. Yeah. You know, but he he do a good job of picking good movies, not just for 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 that moment, but for his career too. All right. He hasn't had too many missteps. Kings of New York. Kings of New York. Kings New York, of New York was, was fire. fire. Kings of yes. New York. Gangs in New York. Gangs in New York. That's what it was. Yep. Yeah. Gangs yeah. in New York was fire too. Fire. That was a very fire movie. And I didn't think I was gonna like that shit. I thought I was gonna be kind of corny. Nah, man. It came with it. That uh, the tall uh, the the OG of the, of the spot. Man, oh boy, was man. He was off the chain, bro. He got what he, you know, he got what he deserved, though. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, it was some other shit that I wanted to talk about today, man. And if I do not write it down, it is it just not going to happen. And let me see what else. We, oh, okay. So we we can do an outro. Yeah, we can we can really start doing some shit. This is going to be interesting. Um, what else? What else should I watch? Besides, yeah, Inception. Yeah, that, that was the name of it and see that's the fucked up part about it like there's a, a slight delay between you know the conversation we have and then w- when they hear it so like we'll be talking about something different because we spastic um but then they'll just hear what we just you know we're, we're talking about previous to that i don't know make sense anyway that Incep- inception shit was fucking inception, inception was incredible shutter island Crazy. Shutter Island was was cool. That was I went to movie see that, movie. but I was disappointed. Oh, you know the most disappointing movie I think I have ever ever waited on to come out. Superman versus Batman was the trashiest fucking yeah, comic was, movie ever. I take that back. Ass. I won't say ever. Um, the Flash ever was, was the Flash. Was it the Flash or um? No, it wasn't the Flash. Yeah, it was the Flash. That was horrible too. Ain't no Flash movie though. It wasn't the Flash. Did was it Green Lantern? Green Lantern was ass. That was pretty bad too. Green Lantern was ass. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, uh, it was something else that they said. I I never saw Aquaman, so I don't know. I heard. I I didn't hear good things. Aquaman was dope. I I didn't hear no good things about that man. 
Like, Aquaman was dope. Like, I mean, first off, the concept is just whack, man. It's just a whack ass no, concept. And like they they did Aquaman justice. Like the the fight scenes was dope. The um, the plot was dope. But he's a whack ass superhero. There's no justice to a whack ass superhero. Nobody oh, nobody no, liked no, he, him. He's not like niggas only say that shit because Aquaman look like a IT technician. Working a fucking nine to five, you know what I'm saying? No, like a regular they ass white guy. Because his shit only works in the water. Nah, man, it's more than that. Like it was, it was, it was, it was Aquaman was dope, bro. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Like it looked, it looked really good. Like the fight scenes was dope. The plot of the movie was dope. It, it just you the beginning stages of where he came from and like all of that shit. Let me ask you this: When y'all was kids and y'all was playing superheroes. Uh, Aquaman is the first black superhero. I did not know that. Um, and, and see, I'm trying to go. But I'm trying to keep up with what's going on. Sun Ray been uh, going ham in the comments on YouTube. But like, come, Aquaman, just the premise of Aquaman, man. It's just like when you was a kid, who wanted to be Aquaman? And not, I, I didn't know he was black. I, that might have made a difference. But power wise, nobody wanted to be Aquaman ever. You never heard in your life. Oh shit, man! I want to be Aquaman. No, you didn't. Cause you was taught niggas can't swim. Well, that might have something to do with it. <laughs> but <laughs> I, 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 actually, I can swim. That might. I did not know that though. Aquaman is the first black superhero. I never heard of Cloud Atlas. I'm just looking at uh shit on YouTube. You know, trying to keep up with everybody. I, I can't. You didn't know. I don't know you if know. I seen Punisher. The the Incredible Hulk is like a, a off story of um, Osiris. Like it it it, it stems back to like some, uh, some comedic shit. The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, I did not know that. That's interesting. Yep. All I know is he got beat up and and and, and quit on niggas. I don't even want to talk about the Hulk. I'm disappointed, bro. I'm still upset about that shit. That I don't remember. I I don't I don't think I, I no, I've never seen Cloud Atlas. Spawn was dope. Spawn was dope. They're about, they about to remake Spawn. And I remember, and I don't know what the name of this movie, but I saw a movie once. And what they did was they cloned people, but you had to buy your clone. And they kept all the clones like in this island. And these clones would 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 literally be raised from from, you know, toddler to to adulthood on this island, like in covered. And they basically had these niggas thinking they was like outer space or some shit like that, you know, and and you could win the lottery to leave. Well, the person that won the lottery was really being called up the bat like they body parts. Like the people that paid for them to be born would use them in case they need a liver or, you know, maybe they went too ham and now they need a couple of kidneys. Well, you got a couple on deck. Wow. That shit was crazy, bro. Until uh, this one couple escaped. And this nigga actually found the nigga that bought him. It's crazy, bro. It was it. It was crazy and such a preparation for I'm sure they already got some shit like that I'm gonna tell you a movie that fucked me up when I first seen the original mm -hmm. Texas Chainsaw Massacre bro like <clears throat> this is back in the, you know the blockbuster days so I go to blockbuster video I ride my bike to blockbuster video <laughs> and um like I've Typically, like used to like, like laugh at scary movies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I just find like weird humor in the shit. So I ended up the first time I saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre was the remake. So I went back to go get the original. You know, the original was so fucked up to me. It was funny though uh -huh. because of the because of the acting. Okay. So I was laughing at the acting in the movie and shit. Yo, know, that movie's really fucked up, yo. Like, it's mad graphic. Like, that shit was scary as fuck, yo. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. That's like one movie. Like, 
I I was a little bothered after I seen that shit. You still like, you still sound bothered, bro. I mean, that shit really bothers me, man. It's, it's you still sound a little touched about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. The, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre was so fucked up. Like you know what fucked me up, bro? The Shining. For real? That movie that that might have been the beginning of the end for scary movies for me. Like when I saw The Shining, bro, like that and Poltergeist. Like Poltergeist was like, okay, I could kind of handle that because I don't, at the time I didn't really believe in ghosts. You know that shit ain't real, blah blah blah. But The Shining was some shit that you could see happening, and I think it was nuts. Right, fast. And, and it wasn't even about the. It wasn't like like it wasn't graphic. To to you know like a lot of uh, quote unquote scary movies, it wasn't as graphic, um, but it was more timing. It was more Alf, uh, Alfred Hitchcock type of scary. You know, like he made some scary ass movies, but it was more like like fuck with your mind type movies as opposed to just gory type shit. Like the gory type shit, like like I could I could deal with that. Like uh. Uh, Jason versus Freddy, low key, is one of the best movies ever, bro. Yeah, Jason versus Freddy was fire. That was a f- that man. Like I, I thought that shit was gonna be so stupid. That fight scene alone, right? Oh my god, man! That's one of the greatest fight scenes in the history of fight scenes. Michael Myers will fuck Jason up though. Ah. Did you see that? I mean, look like wh- that was what was that like thirty tons of of cement he dropped on him, bro? Yeah, yo, but he not Michael Myers, yo. Like Michael Myers is uh, he a different breed, man. Man, come on, bro. Like, like nobody, no, no scary guy is was smarter than 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 uh uh, uh Freddy Krueger, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, I I, I give that up. Right, Freddy. And, and he in your head, like he can get, he can get you. Once he gets you in that dream world, you you typically you be screwed. Man, that nigga Jason. I mean, uh, yeah, what's his name? Was like, like, eh, I don't really care, bro. I'm I'm putting in work wherever I go. You can dream this shit up. I'm gonna bring your ass back to reality. Yeah, it was right. a dope ass movie. I was surprised that I liked that shit though. That's why I brought that up. I was really surprised. I thought it was gonna be really trash and stupid. And I was like, oh, I was wrong. You know, and that's some dope shit about movies too, man. Like, like a really good movie, man, can can definitely at least get you an escape for a brief moment in time. You know, or a really dope movie can get you really, really angry. It can, it can make you really sad. You know, I, I, I uh, uh, some of the movies like n- 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 niggas don't want to admit it, but you know, it's been a couple of movies that they just seen over their life where. You know, they was either about to cry or flat out a couple of tears drop. You know, but that 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 that's a uh, a testament to the to to the actors and actresses in that movie. Like I appreciate like like making a movie is like a football team to me. You know, but in a dope ass way too. You know, like, like I like I almost like I ain't gonna hold you. I went to go see Forrest Gump when it first came out in the movies. I think I had to be like ten or eleven years old. Like I. Actually, I was out with a girl. Like I was on like a date, like then. But um, why am I not surprised? Yo, so I'll go to the movie theater see Forrest Gump and shit, and like, it wasn't until like the end of the movies, like till he had his son, and his son was stupid like him. That shit hurt me so bad. Like. Like he was, he was like, my name's Forrest too. Like yo, that shit fuck with me, bro. Like, like, like yo, think about it, yo. Forrest Gump chased around a broad who was a freak the whole time. Think about this shit. <laughs> he was a freak ass broad the whole time, right? Kicking kicking pussy out everywhere else except for the nigga who was there for her, and then he ain't. Want to get a nigga no pussy till she's about to die. You know what I'm saying? She ain't want to kick out no ass till she was about to die. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, Yo, yeah. 
That's the bullshit. And this nigga was great. That's the yo, the irony of Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is one of my Forrest Gump might be in my top five movies all the time. The irony of Forrest Gump was this nigga was fucking great. He was great at everything he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of his mental capacity. You know what I mean? Or he or, he, or his his awkwardness. The nigga was great. He was world class in everything he did. That's crazy. And he was thinking, that, that nigga really was. He was fucking great. And this nigga chased around a freak ass dope fiend bitch for years. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, yo, that's what fuck with me about. So you wait a minute. You you Forrest Grump made uh, Gump made you cry. It didn't make me cry, but it and I when his son was stupid like him too. That shit definitely fuck with me. Like I remember that shit specifically. I was like, I damn, he dumb. I he dumb too. I won't say like, he's stupid fuck? though, man. Like let's 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 not besmirch the young man, whether he's real or not. You know, he was different. Right. Like like you can't say Forrest Gump was really stupid. He was clearly he was a genius in a different way. Apparently, he was great facts. at everything. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. That's facts. Yeah, yeah. I think it might be the, the. I didn't like Tom Hanks back then until I saw Forrest Gump. The only reason I remember Tom Hanks when he first came out, and I can't remember the name, but it was a sitcom. Him and this other white dude, and they dressed up like women to live in this apartment building that, for some reason, only women they would only rent to women. That was a weird ass show. Would not have expected Tom Hanks to be Tom Hanks of today. Definitely not. No. Yeah. So Gump is kind of a fucked up ass movie. Now. Like yo, like you had a good, you had a dude who was a good nigga, and who was just just happened to be fucking great at everything he wanted to do in life. Yeah, you really but, hurt you. You hurt for Forrest Gump, ain't you? Yeah, bro. Cause like. He should have been the nigga who got the girl. Like, he got ran down, left over ass. You know what I'm saying? And then wiped her. Like, like they made him a simp for real. They made him a lame-ass nigga, and he was great. No, what they made him was fallible. Like, he was great at everything else. You got to be imperfect at something, bro. You know, and he had a couple of flaws. He wasn't. He was socially awkward. That's what it was. And dealing with her was a result of that. For whatever the reason it was, he connected with her, and and was not good with connecting with most people. Yeah, Philadelphia was wild. That was a wild movie. Um, but like he can he 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 really started acting then. Yeah. You know, Apollo 13, eh, that was an okay movie. I just didn't really like the movie. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't, it wasn't really my, uh, you know. Um, but that's just, I've never really liked those go to the moon type movies, like like the historic ones, because I don't believe they went to the moon. I like the, yeah. you know, I want to see uh, uh, Independence Day type shit. You know, like Star Wars, like we want to talk about like the, the, the fucking uh, galaxy movies, man. It start, it got, you got to start with Star Wars, man. Like that is the pinnacle of of the space movies to me. Like are there better graphics? Yes, but they show sure wouldn't exist without Star Wars. And not only that, like they didn't probably made like 74 Star Wars. And they, they didn't kind, kind of, you know, like leave it alone. Like, bruh, you, we've seen enough. But the first trilogy, fire, you know, uh, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and what was the what was the next one? I I know you know Joku, uh, Return of the Sorry. Jedi. Yeah, you know that might be to me. Mm, I was gonna say my favorite trilogy, but then I had to think about it. Like Godfather one, two, and three. It's tough. I don't know if there's like a better three set of movies. If you know one better than The Godfather, uh, one, two, and three, let me know. Uh, 
Wow, you have never seen any of the Star Wars movies? Come on, man. That, like, hurt my soul right there, bro. As long as they're not when um when Anakin was, like, a kid kid, when they was racing and shit, like, them shit was ass. Yeah, they were. Like, yeah. with Jar Jar Binks, them shit was straight ass. Yeah, the shit with Jar Jar but, Binks was just horrible. Yeah, the shit was horrible. But the, the joint afterwards... The um when when they show how he turns into Darth Vader, that's my favorite one because that nigga was the fucking monster. The one with the brother and and I wanted to see a brother in Star Wars too. I really did. That was that was just that was not that was a bad movie, man. I was proud to see a brother doing it though. I'm not you know, but I really was. But it's like they gave him a movie that they kind of knew. It's got the brand, but eh, I don't know. But they'd have had, yeah, you know, they'd have had what, like about ten of the movies though. So yeah, you are gonna have a couple in there that was, eh. Uh, best war movie: Deer Hunter and Fourth of July. It's Fourth of July. That's the one with Tom Hanks, right? I believe so. And there's a old, old. I want to say it's in the seventies. A war movie. It's either the seventies or the eighties, and damn, I don't think it was uh, it was not Deer Hunter. I cannot remember the name of it. I'm horrible with the names, but man, that they and I'm not the only one. But but that was like probably the most realistic war movie I've ever seen. Like if your if your movies got half airplane scenes in it, to me that's not a war movie. Like I know that happens. But that's not the type of war movie I want to see. I want to see shit, you know. Like I like hand it, not not hand to hand, but you know what I'm saying. Like we shooting at each other. Like I can actually, I might be able to see your ass, you know, that type of shit. I don't really want to see, uh, you know, some of the airplane shits is okay, but eh, I like that gritty shit. Uh, Saving Private Ryan was dope. Um, there was another movie, kind of. It wasn't Saving Private Ryan. But, and it was, I, I want to say they were in Italy. It was like a platoon or whatever, kind of like isolated by themselves for whatever reason. And they happened to run into the, like, like, and then like the, uh, the, I guess the Italian soldiers or whatever soldiers that they were fighting against were also in the city. And they was basically shooting niggas on sight. Um, and somehow they saved this kid. And years later, years later, years later down the line, something happened to one of them. And this kid ended up being like one of the richest dudes. And he saved dude's ass and ended up telling them this whole, you had to see this shit, man. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a fucking phenomenal movie. Um, They had actual World War II veterans that were on Omaha Beach had to leave the theater during that D-Day scene because it was so realistic. I did not know that. I don't know how, like, this thing is so cool, man. You need to go on Jeopardy, bro. You know, it's got the brand, but no impact. Yeah, Platoon. That, 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 that was a dope one, too. You know, um, yeah, that is another Tom Hanks movie, Saving Private Ryan. I'm trying to think, like, uh, <clears throat> that's all I can pretty much think of. It's the one I, I, I want to say, I just cannot remember, but. It's, it's, it's a classic that unfortunately, like, my brain is warped, man. I might remember some shit from 30 years ago and can't remember yesterday. It's weird. Um, but damn, I didn't realize we got, what, about 20 minutes left? Shit. Yeah, damn. We were running our mouth for a minute. I know that movie you're talking about. It was made by Spike Lee. Uh, uh, a war movie by Spike Lee? Nah, definitely, uh, I don't remember Spike Lee making a war movie, and I don't know if that would be something that Spike Lee would want to make, you know, that would be, that would be, in, it, it would be interesting, although, you know, I'm so proud of, you know, the movies that he has made and the representation of us, except that, uh, 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 Chirac movie, man, that was just horrible, bro. Like, I, I am not sure. You know, genius ain't right all the time, bro. You was goddamn wrong on that one. I'm sorry. Love you, Spike, though. You dope. 
Man, that movie was trash. I, I think I watched maybe 30 minutes of that movie, Tops. Yeah, it was that bad. Uh, but I'm not sure he, you know, I don't know that that's something that I would want to see Spike Lee making a war movie. Although, it would be interesting to see, like, Spike Lee had, like, one of them real big-ass budget movies, you know, and just go crazy with it. That would be interesting, you know, just one time, just to kind of see, you know. Um, oh, what was, I'm trying to think, what, what, what was the movie with the blue motherfuckers, Avatar? That was a fire-ass movie, bruh. And I'm not sure what made me think of Avatar, but that was a fire ass movie, man. Uh, and 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 I like the way that that it kind of reminded me of Planet of the Apes, but for like the new generation, you know, Dif- different story, but the same story. If you get what I'm saying, you know, um, it's interesting. But I don't know what where the hell Rome at. You know, he 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 be out and about, man. I am going to shout out a couple people, man. I want to make sure that I shout out uh, the family, liberationmindedmedia.net. That is Black Eye Stand Radio, Do the Knowledge Radio, The Rundown with Renee, and My Skin is My Sin. Uh, make sure you check out the websites, uh, mrochelle.com and my skin is my sin dot net. Uh The Spike Lee movie. The, that was his movie? Wow. I digress. I feel stupid because that was a fire ass movie. Miracle at St. Anna. Yes. Yes. That's it right there. That was a dope ass movie, bro. I did not know that was a Spike Lee movie. Wow. I would have never guessed that. You know, uh, and I don't remember uh, behind the enemy lines either. I'm not sure. Who, yeah, I, I've heard the name. But I don't know if that was like one of the standout joints for me as far as uh, war movies go. And that was a dope ass. Uh, I don't know who came up with that one. I think it was Adrienne. Because that was a dope ass uh, little, little, little top. Yeah, it, it was. Best war movie ever was Deer Hunter. That one, I I might have to go check that one out. Because, you know, it's, I've heard about it over the years, but I've never just actually seen it, to be quite honest. You know, so... um. And yo, uh, we are going to be bringing the Conscious Olympics back, just so y'all know. We're going to try to do that next month. And basically what that is, is uh, it's like Jeopardy for black folks. You know, all our questions will be about us. You know, the winner gets $100. And I believe we're going to do it on the YouTube channel. So you're going to have to answer on the channel to get some uh, credit for it. All you got to do is participate. It'll be dope if you actually share the show and let other people know. Um... But we will be back with that, the Conscious Olympics. Oh, um, we also got the Old Head Chronicles coming soon with uh, uh, Daddy O. Um, I put my old heads, y'all know him from Stessa Sonic. Uh, my boy Open Mind and myself, and we're pretty much just talking about getting older. You know, shit, how shit changes. Be honest about it. Y'all know how we do. Um, Rome, where you at, bro? All I hear is like, like he driving and shit, but I don't hear nothing else. He gonna be shocked in a minute when this music playing and we out of this piece. And that first joint that I played was uh, called Dark Leather. Uh, I forgot to forget the brother's name, but go check that shit out on YouTube, man. That shit was fire. You know, and actually it was so fire, I might play that shit again. Uh, hell yeah, we we gonna have to bring that back again, bro. The conscious, of, I'm trying to con. Oh, eh, you ain't have to delete it, man. It's alright. We'll live. We won't be tripping on shit like that. He was a solo pilot that had to eject behind enemy lines. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I seen that one. Yeah, I heard the name, like I said, but I've never seen that one. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, uh, Sunray, uh. I need two, two, two of those beats. Can you see that? Two, two, just two, you know? We'll give you proper credit. Whatever you need, hit me up. Uh, anybody got anything to say? Wrong? Going once, twice, three times? No? All right, it was a nice-ass build, though, man. Enjoyed myself as usual, man. Do us a favor and share the show, man. Let people know. Um, we had a shitload of people on the show, man. 
We done had conversations with all type of people. We didn't talk to y'all already know, man. Check the resume. Google us, man. We on iTunes. We on shit. I don't know. Blog Talk Radio. We on. I mean, we just like on a ton of different little sites here and there. Uh, you can check us out on Podbean. Or my skin is my sin. The number one on IG or Twitter. Uh, don't forget on Facebook, my skin is my sin, and we got the group jumping off my skin is my sin dot com. Uh, jeez, I'm trying to think. Is that it? I don't know. If it ain't, it will be, and we'll holler at y'all next time. But I am gonna play that joint again if I can find it, cause it was still fire. Black shades cover the face of a great First on the scene, arrive, pass you late The killers wanna take to make my safe safe I proceed to push weight, cop large estates I dictate the pace, got lions laying awake Combat the hate with yellow tape, you sealed your fate Maseratis and race, create a escapes Elaborate schemes, get the cream, I'm out my papes A young hustler, pop suckers who's undercover Police lovers, one is gone for mad summers I take keys, slow the speed and do numbers A young wise king, my crew ain't up and comers Vicious drug smugglers, it's Nintendo clips, cowards play gangsters, we live this shit. Real live men who vibe off sin, crack is the wind, shine hard on these frauds, man. I'm not like them. We make moves, connect dots, collect cheddar. We shake dudes and make drops and black cheddars. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. We roll deep, but don't sleep, we move clever. We tow heat, but don't speak, we know better. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. Untouchable thug, hop on a gun smoke. Armani trench coat, let you know I move dope A sniper with the toast, the wrong one to provoke Rebels react reckless anytime I say so I let them know what's the difference between me and you I get it from the mud, y'all tell lies to sound true Niggas going broke, can't run with my crew Money long like Yana's arms, make his face blue Not a fuck, given that's how I play ya Living my heart pump, venom, I leave your brain spinning I bought the cleanest linen, make the hardest turn timid I'm all about my business, see murder, there's no limit My life's authentic, drop ditches and diamond districts Young fly Nigga, grab bricks that I can build with. I'm on some money shit. Dress and design a print. Females is loving it. I'm a handsome pimp. I can't deny his levels to being fly. The wrong one arise, the one no problem with us guys. Got mafia ties. You see, mobsters don't prosper. You must follow a different mantra. I gotcha. We make moves, connect dots, collect cheddar. We shake dudes and make drops and black letters. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. My team supreme, tough like dark leather. We roll deep, but don't sleep. We move clever. We tow heat, but don't speak.